in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, can you cleanse me of all my ties? Amen. Now, before we get started, this song that I'm listening to is uh, Soul Ties by Kira in the Light. I wish I could just play this stuff in the background. That'd be really cool because since I found him on TikTok and then went over to Spotify and found his uh, playlist there, that's all I've been streaming and all I've been listening to, which is is crazy, crazy to think, but it's amazing. So anyways, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Art Vet YouTube channel. And today, I need you to click that red subscribe button because we are on our way to 1,000 subscribers. And then ask your friends, three of your friends, to also subscribe. And if you're one of those type, this one's just for you. Don't click that subscribe button and help us hit 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, I know you clicked that button because I told you to do it. And I told you not to do it, so you did it. <laughs> That's for you, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, bro. <laughs> so, anyways, today, uh, today, man, I'm, I was not feeling good. Like, I just wanted to kind of throw the towel in today and say, you know what? I'm going back to bed. I'm going to sleep this off. <laughs> but now, my nose is a little bit clearer. It's not so stuffed. I still got this phlegm coming out and stuff, but at least I can breathe out my nose now. And a lot of that has to do with my doTERRA oils that I diffuse while I'm in the shower and throughout the house and that I actually take, like with vitamins and stuff. But that's not what today's video is about. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and get step into today. Today is Sunday, August 22nd, and in our Jesus Calling devotional book, it says, Trust me and don't be afraid. I want you to view trials as exercises designed to develop your trust muscles. You live in the midst of fierce spiritual battles, and fear is one of Satan's favorite weapons. When you start to feel afraid, affirm your trust in me. Speak out loud if your circumstances permit. Resist the devil in my name, and he will slink away from you. Refresh yourself in my holy presence. Speak or sing praises to me, and my face will shine radiantly on, upon you. Remember that there is no condemnation. Condemnation. For those who belong to me condemnation that's what it is right you have been judged not guilty for all eternity trust me and don't be afraid for I am your strength song and salvation they seem to have done it Yep. Three people on. And we're back. And I'm gonna miss my turn. So let's make this turn real quick. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, today, I don't, Holy Spirit, give me the words to say, please, <laughs> I don't know what to say, I know what's on my mind, and what's on my mind is that coming up real soon, we're going to be having, we're going to be baptized, and what, what does it mean to be baptized? You know, some people might get the wrong thought and think, oh, you're you're going to devote yourself to this church or you're going to, you're, I don't, I don't know what else they could really think, honestly, I, I just don't know. But, 
to me, what it means to me is what this wearing this cross means to me. It's what telling you guys my beliefs and how I feel about things and how I see things. It's that's what it all means. It means that I want to die to sin. I don't want to sin anymore. Now, am I going to? I'm probably going to. But the past, just in the past few months alone, I have. I I don't remember the last time I had a drink. I don't remember the last time that I had. Shoot, did I ever cheat on anybody? Yeah. Yep, I did. Ooh, I did. I have. That was a long time ago. Well, kind of. And more importantly, I haven't... I'm not married. I'm not married. I ain't got a ring, right? I'm not married. And the last time that I had sex was with somebody that I didn't marry. And that is a sin. And that is a sin that is no longer even in my in in my way it's not it's not a thing I asked God to take that sin I gave it to him and said Lord I have I have this struggle I'm struggling with this here it is have it let your will come to me and get rid of this let's let's defeat it and I, I'm really, really happy to say that I have, I, I don't, I don't even, I, I've defeated it. Now, does it, is there still temptation? Yes, yes, there is. But here's the thing. I know, I know, I trust and I believe that one day I might have a wife. And when that, when I find that wife and her and I get married, that will be the next time that I have sex. And it's go it's going to be amazing. It's going to be better than all the other times. They're not even going to be able to be compared to it. Because it's going to be in in for the glory. It's going to be for the glory of God. It's going to be I, I wish I could explain it. I wish I had the words to explain it. I really don't. But what I do know is that, shoot, you know, maybe <laughs> maybe my future wife is watching this or finds it or watches it after we find each other. Who knows? And just know that I, I'm praying for you. I do. I pray for you. I have been. And it's, it's really hard. It's really hard. But the thing is, is that my past doesn't matter. Your past doesn't matter. It does in a way, in a sense, that it has made us who we are. But none of those things can hold us back. And that, that is what doesn't matter. Is they, they don't have a hold of us anymore. Sorry guys, I'm going off on a little trail here. We ask the Holy Spirit for words. This is what happens. And so anyhow... I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to the day that I find my wife and marry her because it's going gonna, it's gonna to give glory to God so way, way more than any, any other way that I can possibly think of. I just, my life in general this past year is all thanks to God. It's glory to God. If you don't believe me, then why are we sitting right here in Dora in this $500 car payment a month? $500 car payment a month on top of $200 car insurance a month. Making it. That's $700 a month, guys. That's just in a vehicle. 
$500 in rent and it's paid. It's not behind. This is actually paid months in advance. I really don't even have to make payments. No, I try to. But it's all because of God. God did this for me. He's, he's pulled through. He's come through for me. And you know, it, it sucks. I was here, here. I was like, man, August is going to be my month. I'm going to get a job and things are going to work out great. Guess what? I still don't have a job. <laughs> and you guys, you guys are watching these videos and blowing my mind. It's blowing my mind at the views, at the watch hours, subscribers growing daily. It's all because of God and your guys' help. It's amazing. It's amazing. So I know that one day, saving myself for my future wife for marriage is the answer that I have been searching for for a relationship with with a with a woman. Because I I'll be honest, my first marriage, which is my only marriage so far, it ended in divorce. Why? Well, God wasn't in it like he's going to be in this next one. And it, it really it hurts to say that, but it's true. It's a fact. It's a fact. Yeah, we, we got married in a church. We even did marriage counseling, but guess what? I didn't take it that serious. I didn't take it as serious as I should have. And there were consequences for that. I got three amazing boys out of it. And a lot of knowledge. But without God in your marriage, it's not a marriage. And I, I see that now. I see that now. I thank God for those times. I thank Him for those times. Because without Him, I probably wouldn't be right here right now. My character, I wouldn't be who I am today. Because I'm not who I am. I'm not who I was back then. I'm a whole other person. I'm a whole other man now. I am a man. I am a man of God. I'm a child of God. Back then, not so much, but now, so much more. And this, this is why I feel the that being baptized is the is the perfect timing for me. Now, here's here's something that is a little a little touchy, and I'm I'm pretty I'm happy that. Uh, Adi has come forward because he was going to be baptized too. And he, we talked about it. We talked about it. And he's like, yeah, well, he talked about it with somebody else. He's like, I'm just not sure. And that right there, that is, uh, I'm so happy that he can do that because he's not ready. And that's, that's okay. That's okay. Because I'm not forcing my kids to do this. It is their choice. And it's his choice to wait. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy that he spoke up and he said, Hey, Dad, I want to wait. That's fine. That's fine. You can't force your kid to do something. It just... I mean, now, picking up, clean up the house, yeah, you can do that. But... This is this is totally different. This is a whole nother ball game. This isn't picking up your toys or your bedroom or making your bed. <laughs> and so Riley, Riley is actually the one that even like mentioned it. He goes, 
hey dad I want to be baptized literally just like that one day and I was like oh really why why is that I don't know I just do I'm telling you God is calling Riley to do this he's got a connection that I, I can't explain and maybe it's maybe it's his, his autism he he sees or feels he definitely does he sees things so much differently than we do than I do and honestly I think that this is this was God being like hey Riley you want to you, you wanna be baptized you should be baptized because with Riley mentioning that, I went, aha, this is actually the perfect time for me to do it too. I need to be baptized. And so here we are. Being baptized next Sunday. Just in case you're wondering, yeah, I am inviting their mom because it's something special that she should be at, even if she doesn't believe like we do. It's totally okay. So, I'll leave you guys with that. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that you go out and do something great today. God bless you, and we will catch you tomorrow in another video.